Hey guys, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on for more great content. Hey guys, this is Nico from G2 and today I'll be doing a tutorial on Mirage. So when I have to spawn around like here, closer to ticket, I usually always start from here and I start by molotowing slow for my teammate. Just do it by running here, aiming towards this like, edge of the wall and you just run through. You always need to make sure maybe to jump over here because the Opry can always peek you from deep down, so make sure to always jump to make the shot harder for him. Then, what most of the people are using, like if you want to peek top mid, you should use this smoke here. Because, sorry, it should go in the connector to pops in here to turn off their molotov so you can peek behind it. Obviously what you should do is ask for the flash before you peek uh, for your teammates because as you can see this if you put the smoke there they cannot put they cannot put this molotov here and you have the okay i fucked up everything but this is what you get basically and you can peek always and making sure to not burn okay if you want to make some aggressive play like fast through connector then you should use different smoke and you can use this one where you can just, as soon as you go out of connector, you will be able to see the whole mid, right? And what you do is, you molly, maybe you can flash once over, you run, you smoke here, as the flash, bam, go and try to kill as many as you can and fall back. If you don't want to make any aggro plays, then it doesn't really matter which smoke you throw, but most of the time I always either smoke left or I smoke right because that gives me a slight like one way. It gives me a one way but it also gives them when they come before me but usually I'm always before them right. So sometimes you just use this smoke to bait them in so they come into my crosshair and I try to kill them. Or you can just use the most simple smoke and just bounce it off this and it will just always go in the middle of connector. One thing that you always need to make sure is every time you start a connector you need to be aware of this thing here because if they have the best spawn they can easily run here and they can catch you before you got before you go out of the smoke so you always need to be ready for like this push here. You can hold it from here, you can hold it from here is like the best angle to hold from because what they do is they're rushing like this and then they turn like this and they turn your back right they're not rushing like this so this position is good one when you want to punish the guy who is running fast catwalk uh, one thing as well is if you use smoke like this for example that gives you also more space to put some utility behind boxes such as molotov such as nade and you can put more pressure on the opponents i don't have any different lineup as you can see i f this one up but usually the molly always spreads around here and if you nade there you can make a decent damage and basically if you like push them around a little bit because they're always having a lineups for smokes like to smoke window or to smoke a top connector they always have it from there so it's always good to put some pressure on here so they feel a bit more stressed i would say and you can catch a timing maybe to kill them when it's the fate of this smoke for example one thing that you can use with this smoke as well is you can see underground above it as well usually people people good players obviously are aware of it they never peek this but in face it or matchmaking you will get free kills here for sure so it's very simple smoke and very effective and you will for sure get some easy frags. So you can just run and just bounce it all the way down and that gives you a one way. I don't like this position that much because they have almost every time the advantage to kill you if they pre-fire you. If op is searching you, you are dead as well. So I try to avoid this position with rifle. With op it's okay because you can see him first. But with rifle, you don't have a chance to, to kill him, basically. Uh, some of the defensive things that you can do, if you keep your smoke, you can always put this smoke here. There's this, like, two black dots here. So just right side of the top black dot. And you aim here, but while crouching, that will give you one way towards the box here. 
if you jump up you will be able to see connector or if they walk through here while they have really hard time seeing you in there you can also throw it while standing and that will give you the one way to see even without jumping on the box if i'm not mistaken you see a little bit here but uh, if you jump you see everything basically and as you can see they can hardly see you that's like all the starters when you have this spawn here when you can cross out character but if you don't have the best spawn the best thing for you is to go from jungle to connector so you can avoid any early kills basically because whatever they do here fast they can catch you crossing if you don't have the good spawn right so sometimes you should try to avoid crossing here with uh, and you don't have the the best spawn so but when you have this one you can just always start around here usually opera is playing here as well but you can start with him start here sometimes you can put molly behind box you can spam a bit to the smoke because people are always almost always using this smoke so you can always try to make some damage to the smoke and uh, delay them some time uh, to go behind the box and then you can move back and you can shoulder pick a little bit and then you can use this smoke again and uh, go here for example so you don't always have to start from this side right couple of things that you can use to help your teammate on A basically if you don't molly for him obviously you're always around this area so if you if your teammate is saying they're coming A with the smokes or whatever you can always molly apps for him if he's playing here in the shadow this is the best flashes for him just in this corner over here all the flashes are good here they don't have to be perfect but it's the best way to flash for him because he can peek with it so it's very easy for him to get uh, multi kills here if he's playing default it's those flashes are still good but these can uh, work as well like flashing in front of default right so he can peek this side with it because if he picks this he can get open a bit to too many angles but if he just picks like this with this flash it's good because he can still peek with it and he's not getting blind and obviously if he's playing around here or ct you should always just flash kind of in front of firebox or in front of ticket or above him but that's like the best way to support your teammate and you should always try to support him first before trying to kill and you both die because sometimes saving more time is more important than actually killing uh, one guy that's pretty much it when it comes to my position on Mirage. If I would want to pick top mid as T and I have the best spawn which is here. Usually what I always do is I just ask for the fastest window smoke. Right either like this one or like if I just want to peek then this smoke is totally fine. A bit delayed so you can just run blah 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 you run you run you run. And you pick this and the reason why I want it delayed is just because in case you miss a shot or he doesn't show up it's better for it to be smoked than for them to make any flash play afterwards and kill you right so you always make sure to have this smoke here but what with this spawn as well what I do nowadays there's a couple of fast window smokes that uh, you can throw such as something like this and you have this spawn so you just run and this is the play I told you guys about and you just kind of run like this and you just try to kill this guy in connector pretty fast and you can get in this area very quickly and the other peak as well that you can do is ask for the fastest top mid smoke either this one or whatever this one I think there is one from here as well doesn't matter but what you can also do is ask for that smoke and then just run you can use the same flashes bam and you can try to cross here and try to surprise a teammate not a teammate the opponent by him holding maybe uh, this angle or something like that but before that you should also ask the flash from your teammate to come blind him for sure so you can have easier chance of, of killing him 
the five most important smokes on the maps are on this map sorry is definitely the window smoke if you go in the trash can you aim here you hold d i mean you like try to go to the right and you just jump through it that's like the most important smoke because most of the time you always want to take control on mid and with this smoke that gives you kind of the most space either this one or this one but let's say if i have to choose one i would use this one always the second smoke that is very important is probably this one that you can throw for many many positions and that's why it's the most important smoke because you always throw it mid round obviously you can throw it uh, from here you can throw it from here you can throw it from you can throw it from here but i'm not 100 percent sure how now because i'm not really playing in this area so i forgot this one but you can smoke it from here as well or i think from he here i think they're all pretty same Can smoke it from here. You can smoke it from here. And I think you can smoke it from here, but I'm not 100% sure about this one now. Yeah, so that's, this is the second most important smoke, I would say, on this map. ST, because with this one you can use many things you can split b you can explode a you can uh, go connector go to the left and you will have a one bay go to the right you will have a slight edge over this guy and just many things are being used with this smoke so it's definitely very important smoke mid <clears throat> the third important smoke so this is like I'll just show you like two smokes for each side. The first one is maybe like jungle smoke. Uh, you can throw it from here. It goes in there. So if you have these smokes right, it's very easy to just go out A. You don't have to worry too much about the guy speaking you from here and there. You obviously need to have one guy if he tries to pick you from down or up but uh, those two smokes cover a lot of things and it's easier to you for you to go out also if you are in connector you can always use this smoke as well it helps you to to split a so this smoke is like pretty important when you want to finish a uh, when you want to finish b people usually use this smoke it obviously depends where you come from and how you space and everything but this smoke is pretty important when you want to go into the b side it goes in here that protects you from like obviously upper holding this angle and in general this smokes this smoke like requires them to rotate slower and that gives you more space to take over the site and land the bomb and get in a better position basically so that's the four smokes that are important and fifth one like on city side every smoke is important this one is probably the most important because if you don't show this smoke you give them the most space on mid and that's where there are the most people at the start of the round right and if there is no this smoke that gives them more time to do whatever they want to yeah they can just do use whatever they want like on on both sides you can use like molly nade to stop the rush basically you don't need to use the smoke early same goes for uh for b right but for start of the round this is the most important smoke to delay your opponents in doing whatever they want basically that's my mirage tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to Batwick for more great content